Now it's 6:30. Haitians are working to pick through the destruction left by a 7.2 magnitude earthquake as they search for friends and relatives still trapped in the rubble. According to Haiti's Civil Protection Agency, the death toll stands at 724 with 2800 people injured. Well, here in South Florida, the devastation in Haiti is personal, with many still waiting to hear from family and friends. Others are thankful that their loved ones were able to survive. And one of those people is North Miami's mayor, who was born and raised in Port-au-Prince. CBS 4's Bobeth Yates was able to speak with the mayor today. She joins us live with this story. Bobeth. Well, Carly, the mayor tells us for hours he was on pins and needles just hoping to hear from his family members. Luckily, eventually he did, and he says they're doing well. But now his concern is turning to the rest of the country. The first thing I asked myself, what happened to my dad? What happened to my family? And what happened to the people of that uh, Region. North Miami Mayor Philip Benamé is talking about the magnitude 7.2 earthquake that hit the southern portion of Haiti Saturday morning, and his dad is among those impacted. I spoke to my dad, and I spoke to three officials from three different municipalities that described the situation in that part of the country as that chaos can be seen in this video provided by a CBS4 viewer. It shows a man trapped under a rubble and the community frantically trying to help him. That man is among the thousands injured, and Mayor Phillips says helping those victims is currently their greatest need. The people injured by the earthquake, they are outside the hospital waiting for help. That's why I think right now one of the first need of the people it's medical assistance. Mayor Phillips says he's reaching out to the Biden administration and Miami-Dade County in hopes of getting some of that help to provide aid to those in need. 7.2, it's bigger than the previous one that destroyed the capital and killed over 150,000 people. That means in the days to come, uh, we expect a bigger number of casualties in this situation. Now we need to concentrate on how we're going to help the survivors. Now coming up at 11, I have more on Mayor Phillips' family. And one thing he also told me was the area where his dad is, many in the community are living at a local bar because their homes have been destroyed and they have nowhere else to go. But I have more on that coming up at 11. Live in Little Haiti, Bobeth Yates, send it back to you. Oh, Beth, thank you for that live report. As we mentioned before, several groups in South Florida are heading to Haiti to help out in any way they can. One of them, JetBlue, is donating a plane, gas, and crew to bring first responders and other relief to the country. They were loading up this afternoon to bring medical supplies, equipment, and food to the communities affected. One of the organizations, Team Rubicon, is going to help with those injured and getting them the medical attention they need. Another, World Central Kitchen, will be helping to feed those who have lost everything in this disaster. We are filling up this plane right now with a lot of cooking equipment, uh, ability to transport food to some of these communities that are really hard hit right now. Uh, so our team is already on the ground right now cooking, but this is going to enable us to really scale up our operation. MOOC, as well as other volunteers, flew on the plane as well to assist. No timetable yet on how long they're going to be there. World Central Kitchen partnered with JetBlue after Hurricane Dorian to help those in the Bahamas.